well, I want to make one more Outriders video. I think this will be, this might be the last time I talk about this game on this channel because, you know, I, I think it's going to be done soon for me. I'm not saying the game's going away necessarily, but I had fun with it. I had problems with it. I had to stop playing it and other things are now coming out. Hi, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy, by the way. Yeehaw. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for the likes, comments, subscribes. I'm close to a thousand subs. If you have it in your heart to subscribe, please do. I would really, really appreciate it. Let's talk about Outriders for, I don't know, maybe the last time, maybe not. I'm not sure. Outriders is a weird game because I really like a lot of Outriders and I'm just so disappointed with so many things that happened around this game coming out. I'm kind of shocked, honestly, at how many people have defended this game. There was so much talk when it came out about how, how good the developer was at communicating with their player base, and now we're just kind of out on an island. They have this inventory issue that I, I recognize they didn't know it was going to be this big of a problem. I, they, they couldn't release this game knowing that something like this would happen. Well, maybe. I don't know. I, it's almost like I'm doing an autopsy right now of something that's not dead, but I, I'm trying to figure out what happened here. How did this turn out like this? Some game launches are messy, and some are much better. I know the online component to a lot of game launches presents a lot of problems that people didn't expect until they get lots and lots of people playing them. You know, something I think about all the time that a friend of mine told me, he works in QA, and he said that once a game comes out, you know, once it's been out for an hour, a couple hours, depending on how many people have got it and played it, more playtime has been chalked up just in that little window than all the development cycle and all the testing and all this. So there's so many things that you can't find out until the game actually drops. It's kind of sad to see that Outriders has gone through this. First off, because I think People Can Fly is a pretty cool studio. And just because I would like more games that aren't massive AAA games to rise up and be a contender in the marketplace. If you're unfamiliar with what's going on with Outriders right now, imagine it like this. They had this dam, right? And as soon as water started running through it, they noticed some small problems and they were trying to fix those small problems and do some cosmetic stuff with like, this is the cosmetic stuff is when they were uh, nerfing things that I don't know if that was really top priority, but so they're trying to do some cosmetic stuff and then they see some issues with it. And then the whole thing bursts open. I guess at first the water wasn't even flowing <laughs> because people couldn't play. So the water wasn't flowing. Then they got the water flowing. Then they noted some small cracks in the dam, and then the dam burst open, which was this inventory wipe bug. It, it's a big problem in a looter shooter. I know some people hate that term, but it's here to stay. In a looter shooter, when your loot goes goodbye, and that's what started happening. And it scared people. People stopped playing the game. I stopped playing the game for like a week and a half. I just picked it back up recently when they have said that they have fixed that issue from occurring in the future. However, everyone who had their inventory wiped, people with possibly over a hundred hours of gameplay, getting their builds together and getting this loot, they don't know when that's coming back. They kind of made it seem like it was soon, but I think it's pretty clear that it's not soon. Maybe it's tomorrow. I really don't know. Maybe it happens tomorrow. But I also wonder this, does it matter? Honestly, do you think at this point it means anything if player's loot comes back? I think it's done. I think the damage has been done. I think so many people won't be coming back soon regardless because life moves on. There are new games. There's the old game that you really love that you always play with your friends. You're going to go back and start playing some of that too. I'm sure a lot of people are hopping back on Destiny or whatever else they like to play. And then you've got... Returnal and Near Replicant and Resident Evil and Biomutant and Mass Effect and Hood. It's just, it, life keeps going. Video games have such a short window now of when they need to pop in. They really, really do. Because after that, it's just gone. 
And that's how I feel Outriders is feeling like right now. It's just kind of gone. I go through the Reddit and there's this weird thing that's been happening the whole time, which is players defending this game till the ends of the earth for seemingly no reason, in my opinion. I, I, I get not wanting to be toxic about this game, but it's something people bought and paid money for and they can't play it. It, it kind of sucks. Then you, you have people with, I'm reading posts that are like almost conspiracy theory like about how there's spreads of misinformation and this and that and it really going to the ends of the earth to try to defend this game when I think the real feeling, at least the feeling I have, is it just kind of sucks that it turned out like this. It, it just sucks that it couldn't hit and people have fun and the only things they needed to work on was continuing to add new and exciting end game content. I mean, I feel for the developers. Imagine what it feels like to put this thing out there and you can't focus on the exciting, fun stuff in the future. You have to deal with all this immediate chaos. Yeah, it's just disappointing to see, but I think it's done. Not done dead. I, I don't want to say that. I just think the world moves. It continues to move on. And because it had so many problems at the beginning, I don't know if people are going to run back into it and continue playing it. I think they're going to bounce off it. And it's a bit of a bummer to see. I think those are my thoughts on Outriders right now. It's a really fun game. And I wish they would have had the opportunity to really focus on the excitement around it instead of trying to fix something. I might make another video once the inventory restoration has been completed to see if people, you know, repopulate this game and see what's going on. But I just think naturally you move on to new games. And especially when a game has issues, it just creates more and more reasons to move on to the next thing. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, and I will see you all next time. Mwah!